I got a glimpse of the front grill of a car. It looked like it was coming the wrong direction. On August 11th, 2014, David Fredrickson and his driving partner were driving on I-10 near Biloxi, Mississippi, when David's dash cam recorded a tragic crash. It was a pretty big explosion. And then the road, the car, everything was on fire. As flames engulfed the car, David grabbed the fire extinguisher in his truck and ran toward the scene of the accident, afraid of what he might find. When I got out of the truck and I pulled the pin, just automatically I was praying, you know, God, please don't let me have to uh, deal with somebody halfway burned alive screaming. I didn't want to see anything like that. My first reaction is I, I didn't think they were alive. As David fought the fire, something caught his eye. I seen this little head pop up in the back window. And immediately I was like, wow, they're alive. Trapped in the car was a woman and her two-year-old granddaughter. The lady was laying in the front seat and, and she was trying to kick the door open. David tried to help pull the door open. Time was running out. I heard the metal bending, but I'm a pretty good sized guy. And if you watch the video, you kind of see me jerking on it to, to get it open, but it wouldn't open. Once more, he prayed. At that point, what could I do? I didn't know. I had never been in a situation like that. As other motorists came to help, the door finally broke free. And then in the back seat, that little head, I seen it pop up again. And I just, out of the corner of my eye, I seen some other people showing up. So I got into the back seat. I grabbed the little girl. I reached in, she grabbed me around the neck. While others pulled the woman to safety, David carried the granddaughter safely to the side of the interstate. It, it was surreal that they were okay. I mean, I was just, I didn't think anybody could live through it, um, truthfully. David believes God intervened and used him to help rescue them. The car was just on fire there. I didn't burn my hands. It wasn't hot. I mean, I, I do believe that, that he protected me and protected them. If I would have been 20 seconds sooner, I would have been down the road. If I would have been 10 seconds sooner, it would have been me she hit. Now, I have never met the lady, but I'm just uh, very happy that I was able to help her that day. As David travels the nation's highways, he's ready and willing to be used again by God. When you have a relationship with God, supernatural happens all the time. Uh, the little girl, I know that God's got plans for her. That's why he protected her that day. God puts people where he ne they need to be. It just reassures me that if he needs me and he puts me in front of somebody that needs my help, then I, I help him. You gotta listen to God.